morning from MWC 2025. I'm here together with Arun Bikshaisbaran, CEO of Radisys. Nice to meet you, Arun. Nice to meet you, Akim. How are you? I'm good, and you? Excellent. Perfect. Radisys and Trio have transformed connectivity in India. How do you plan to bring that same impact to Africa? Yeah, so what Geo and Radisys have done together in India is creating phenomenal affordability yeah. for the mass population, mm -hmm. right? And we focus on the total economics of providing connectivity mm -hmm. from the network side to the consumer product side. Okay. And this is what we want to take to Africa as a learning mm -hmm. and as an experience and in the form of products as well. So we've got a complete portfolio that we're working with and that includes devices, that includes network connectivity yeah. and we will take that whole model to Africa. So you're kind, you're kind of having a blueprint Absolutely. So that blueprint has worked well for us in India. Mm -hmm. Now, that blueprint might not be exactly 100% transformable yeah. in Africa, yeah. but it gives us the basis and a framework yeah. for how to operate. And again, there is one fundamental difference. Yeah. Geo in India is an operator. Yeah. In Africa, we're not going to be an operator. We're going to help other people mm -hmm. who are local entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. who have the ability to operate local networks. Mm -hmm. We're going to supply them with the tools and the methods and the processes to make them successful. Because you have the similarities of markets from income, geographical, rural areas, similar rural areas. Absolutely. The demographic yeah. profile is also quite similar. Uh, so we think we can do a lot to take the learnings and the products that yeah. we have and, and make them work in Africa. All right. So your multi-access broadband solution seems tailored for Africa's connectivity needs. How do fixed PON, 5G run and unlicensed band FWA address different challenges on the continent? Yeah. So the challenges in the continent are in the continent are actually across the pyramid. Yeah. So at the top of the pyramid for industry, society, learning, healthcare, yeah. you need super reliable, super secure, mm. uh, you know, communication networks, yeah. Yeah. and that we can provide using fixed broadband technologies uh, or or uh, secure 5G yeah. networks, right? But then as you go towards the middle and the bottom section of the pyramid, affordability starts to be a little bit thinner, mm. and you need different kinds of solutions yeah. and what other people are trying to do is to use the networks that are already available yeah. and just fill it with different kinds of traffic yeah. well that doesn't always work Akeem what yeah. you need is a is a ground level understanding yeah. of what people can afford yeah. what society can afford and have a technology solution that caters to that yeah. and that is where our portfolio from Mimosa networks starts to become very very interesting because it uses unlicensed spectrum yeah. and and we've got a innovation in there that, that takes advantage yeah. of the unlicensed spectrum and Wi-Fi based technologies to create a very affordable connectivity solution. And, and so we have a complete mix mm -hmm. from fixed pawn to 5G based yeah. access and also unlicensed mm -hmm. access that creates a bouquet of solutions yeah. that is you know, best suited for Africa. So we, we could easily say that you try to come up with the real business model before you actually come with the technology. Absolutely correct. A lot of companies have the technology solution yeah. and then try to fit it into a business model yeah. and consumer <laughs> market need. Yeah. We start with the opposite and Akeem, this is also the approach from Geo as yeah. well, right? We learn the market, we learn yeah. what consumers can afford, we know how they want to pay, yeah. and then you design the perfect solution for that. And that helps it to scale? Because Absolutely, you start yeah. absolutely, because you have, you have built it for the market, yeah. you have not built a solution and looking for a market. Yeah. That sounds good. For areas without fiber or run coverage, how is Redis enabling cost-effective wire, uh, fixed wireless access solution? Yeah, so for fixed wireless access, we have two options. One is using licensed spectrum. The other one is using unlicensed spectrum. Yeah. For licensed spectrum, our offering is based on an open RAN solution. Okay. So we have the software, we yeah. integrate with other people's radios. It's a completely open you know, solution. But we take responsibility to provide the complete package. Yeah, and that makes it very attractive for people who own spectrum today. Mm. On the other hand, there are people who want to come in and solve the market problem of underserved and unserved markets. And for them, we are able to bring in our Mimosa-based solution. We're also able to mix and match where we can provide Mimosa-based solutions for backhaul yeah. and then use license spectrum for you know, uh, end, uh, end user connectivity. Yeah. So we've got this uh, ability to mix and match to create the right solution for the market. Mm. So you earlier told me that Redis and Trio are working with the NGIC Ghana to build a unique 4G, 5G neutral host network. Can you show, share more about the broad track and the significance for you? Yeah, absolutely. So NGIC is in a very unique position oh. in the market in Ghana where they have access to the spectrum for a considerable period of time uh, to provide this neutral host yeah. network. And uh, all other operators then are, are um, I wouldn't say mandated, 
but are but have high priority on accessing this network to provide you know services to their consumers especially on the 5G side it's a tremendous economic benefit yes. because you're not trying to build multiple networks at the same time in a country like Ghana where it makes more sense to have yeah. one network yeah. and just provide shared access yeah. so we have been an integral part of that project from the beginning we are supplying the uh, the network technology we're also collaborating with uh, NGIC on getting the right kind of devices and the CPEs in place mm -hmm. so that this can this project can be a big success. So it's a more kind of a partnership? It is a partnership, uh, both in terms of technology yeah. and also market approach yeah. and, and trying to figure out what works yeah. best in the market. Okay, interesting. So Mimosa has several African customers, among them Safaricom for example. What makes your solution so attractive for major operators in the region? So I think what makes it attractive is our ability to create a very affordable product, but that still is uh, capable of dealing with interference, capable of dealing with unlicensed spectrum, and providing performance over a long range distance. I think that combination, we have been able to crack the code with that. So we've got, we've got links that go up to 100 kilometers and providing you know, several hundred megabits of you know, connectivity. Yeah. And that combination is unique. Yeah. And it is a very affordable solution uh, because it builds on Wi-Fi technology and it has some, uh, some uh, extensions that we have made that make it a unique product. So you could say it lays in your DNA based on your experience to really understand first the demand of the market, possibilities, and then come up with the right technology fit in order to provide a scalable approach. 100%. That is the DNA of Geo, that is the DNA of Radisys, yeah. and now we are able to bring it to market to create yeah. real solutions to real problems that exist in the market. Okay. Out of curiosity, is there what is the time to market with such solutions? Everything is available now. Okay, interesting. Perfect. Beyond connectivity, and we all know that the digital gap and bridging the digital divide in Africa is still a big challenge on the continent. So how do you see opportunities to unlocking the opportunities on the market through all the different layers, for example, education, healthcare, and e-commerce? Yeah, so building on the understanding of the market, so what we also try to do is partner with our customers mm -hmm. to understand what markets they want to serve in addition yeah. to just consumers. Yeah. So if you look at healthcare for example, yeah. healthcare has its own set of regulations yeah. that you need to comply with. True. If you take education for example, then you need software yeah. for digital classrooms, yeah. you need software for teachers, you yeah. need software for students, and you also need devices that students and teachers can use. So we take a complete view of the ecosystem that is needed. And within the realm of what is available to us from the geo portfolio, yeah. we have all kinds of solutions that we can bring to market. Okay. For example, in, in a couple of countries, we are working with a device that has been launched in India called as the GeoBook. It, it is a uh, Android-based laptop form factor, so it's got built-in mobility, so you have 4G connectivity always, and it's a laptop form factor that is well-suited for elementary, for middle school students, and even for teachers going up to high school. So it really brings connectivity and compute and a digital classroom in a very, very accessible format. That is the level of market. affordable, I would say. Affordable, 100%, yeah. right? So you get connectivity, affordability, portability, everything packaged in a nice way. So and that is what is going to make it successful. Then, it is an end-to-end -end solution mm -hmm. for the education sector. Okay. And, and that is how we replicate in, from yeah. one market to another. Okay, very interesting. It was very insightful. Thanks for your time. It was a pleasure talking to you. Absolutely, Akim. Thank you for taking the time. Great to be here. Great to see you. Thank you. That was Tech African News from MWC 25. You can find more on techafricanews.com.